from Jason. I've seen you speak a number of times and I've always enjoyed your presentations and some of my strongest memories from being in Toastmasters here are actually from some of your presentations and, and evaluations. You came to talk about a very important topic and to prepare for a uh, presentation that you're doing soon. And it's a very challenging thing, I know, because I've used Toastmasters recently to do a similar thing and trying to present to what's not your audience and trying to get that message to resonate is, is challenging. And to what extent you even bother to care, I don't know, because you're just up here to practice for your real audience. So I would ask the audience that was here, what did Jason speak about? Privacy. Privacy, okay. And what more specifically about privacy did he, uh, did he inform us about? Privacy practices, like smart privacy practices. Anybody else have anything? How data is shared over multiple servers so that you don't have all that data in one place and how they interact secretly. Okay, so That's good. helping to make sure that systems have privacy built into them and that inherently they prevent the sharing of data. Well, does that capture it well? Sure. I mean, I, I, you know, certainly I have enough background to understand most of what you were trying to convey, and I did have a sense that you probably could have summarized a little better up front, encapsulated a little bit better, especially for a less technical audience to take it away. Because I think there was more you were trying to get across that you probably explained better in your longer version of your speech that I wasn't able to pull out because it felt like you were jumping around a little bit, trying to take points and squeeze them in time-wise. And maybe we can talk about that afterwards, because I probably don't have enough time to go into detail in front of this group about what I thought. But, so I'll, I'll skip to evaluating how you presented more than the content. Um, so openings is something that I've seen Jason do a stiller job at. I remember a particular speech that Joel did I don't even remember exactly what it was about, but for some reason there was a broom in the front of the room and a garbage can, and Jason ran up there and smacked the garbage can and got everybody's attention. But I don't think this particular <laughs> opening was one of those stiller ones. He's certainly done a much better job. Uh, the images of the, of the two people were interesting, Orwell and Kafka. They did get my attention, but not as dramatically as I've seen you do in the past. So you might be able to figure out some way to, to, to to really grab the people's attention in the room when you when you open. Your use of hands was good, although they definitely weren't at your side. They were they were up here the whole time and often they were waving at the at the slides, which maybe a laser pointer if you get the luxury of having one when you actually present might might help there. Because you definitely have a lot of detail up on the slides and you need to be able to point at particular items. So it didn't seem wrong, but a laser pointer would obviously help you point to exactly what you needed to allude to. Your eye contact was good, except when you were turned around looking at the slides, but it seemed more or less appropriate when, when you did it. Uh, you worked in some humor, the, the cartoon and, and a couple other points. Probably could find some more opportunities potentially for humor, but you would know your audience better than we would. They might find it discredits you, I suppose, in a technical talk. I did feel like you talked a little fast. You know, I don't know if you felt squeezed for time or if that's just maybe what you're doing these days, but it did feel like you could relax and slow down and, and maybe reiterate and perhaps introduce a few of the topics a little bit more in detail before you dived in, in particular the, which one was it, one of the technical points that I wrote down, but it felt like you kind of worked backwards into it and we saw a slide with the, the title up there after you talked about it, or at least that's the way it felt to me. But overall, Again, I've appreciated seeing Jason speak here, and I've always felt he was very good, and I learned a few things from him when I was first starting out, so it was definitely nice to have him back and presenting to us, and, and it's nice to give you the opportunity to come in here and present and practice for your presentation. What, when is it? Uh, next Monday. Okay. All right, well, good luck. All right.